Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. I've got two of the newer designs here from the Crafters Workshop. I have rounded flowers and modern lace. These are in the six by six size. And I've been playing around with some of the metallic gessos um, or some of the colored gessos you might have. So here I have the gold and the silver, absolutely beautiful. And before the uh, metallic modeling paste came out, I was really struggling to put these through stencils for my card making. So if you've watched any of our videos of the Crafters Workshop before, I show you techniques using stencils or mixed media materials that you can implement in your card making. And these are two cards I made with colored gessos. So with this one, I took just some basic cardstock. This is actually the Lawn Fawn Black Lick Rose and everything is linked in the description for you below. Um, I took a piece, I have them all cut into quarters uh, by FedEx stores. This is a Nina Solar White card base that I scored in a half. And I'm gonna show you the technique for applying the gesso to get this lovely effect on here. And it almost reminds me of like a Laura Ashley or high-end wallpaper. The die is a tonic word die. So this is the word happy. And you get both the die and the shadows. So the shadow I actually cut out of black glossy cardstock. And I absolutely love this black glossy. It almost looks like an enamel, um, but it really does help things pop. I love the effect that it gives. And then I use some of their satin silver cardstock. I cut four of the happies to give it this dimension, almost like a uh, chipboard thickness. So love how that one came out. And then on this one here, I used the Lawn Fawn Scripty For You on here. This again is using tonic cardstock. This is their fuchsia cardstock. I also added a flash of fuchsia here. So normally my matting layers, so these two are cut to uh, five and a quarter by four inches. And then I cut this one in the middle. So it's um, four and three eighths by uh, five and three eighths. Um, so I just kind of did it in between just to give you that little flash of pink and tie it all together really nicely but love how these came out so let me show you how I made them so the first thing is a piece of black cardstock as I say this is cut down four and a quarter by five and a half just a quarter sheet of eight and a half by eleven super super simple there and then I took one of my stencils so let's take this one uh, this again is the modern lace love the designs on here and I tend for card making to work with the six by six sizes. I also love their new card makers um, stencils as well. So because I'm going to trim this down, what I did was just caught, caught um, some corners. And this is my purple masking tape, just right off of Amazon. I use this one all the time. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll link this one up for you as well. And then I just stick down my stencil. So this will work with any thinner medium. So it's just another way to apply apply it. <coughs> Excuse me, I was like caught in my throat. So um, I'm actually gonna go with the silver, I think. I think the silver works really well with this. You can use acrylic paints for this techniques. So you can use black and white gessos. <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. So um, you can use all sorts of different mediums. You could also use this with deco foil paste and then foil over the top of it as well. But what I'm gonna do is just very lightly dip in. These are the Nouveau double ended blending brushes, but I use them for all sorts of things. So the first thing I kind of do is lay down a very, very light coat. And I try to only go in one direction. If you go backwards and forwards too much, I found that I got leakage underneath the stencil. So I just kind of dot down to get some of the larger amounts of my brush and then follow my own rules of going one way. Now the one thing if you do it this way is you'll find that some of these smaller areas don't get the gesso in and also you end up with some brush marks. So once I've laid down a light coat, I'm then gonna just pick up a tiny bit more and I start stippling. Now when I start stippling, these areas in here are now getting filled in. And now I filled everywhere in. I've got that gorgeous shimmer and that little bit of texture really helps your card or whatever project you're working on catch the light. So it really does make that even more shimmery. I clean these off. I just pop them in. Um, this is not my drinking water. It's just a glass I grabbed out the kitchen. 
just pop it in some water, give it a rinse. They do hold a lot of water because they're a really dense brush. But all I do, you can see, is just keep putting it up against those sides and then grab some kitchen towel and blot it off and then I just leave it out to dry. So super, super simple there. And then before it dries, you want to lift up your stencil. Don't leave it on there, otherwise you do tend to get some more raggedy edges. I'd like to lift it up when it's wet. But you can see there how you've got those beautiful designs in there. And they don't take long to dry at all, maybe 10 minutes or so. So I'm just gonna pop that to the side. Again, clean up wise on the stencil, just run this one under warm water. Um, baby wipes also work really well. And I'm working on the Tim Holtz glass mat and that is super easy to clean. Again, just a baby wipe over the surface. So that's my top tips for working with uh, thinner medium. So whether it's a metallic gesso or a colored gesso, um, you can of course add your re to your gessos to make any color you'd like as well. So you can make them into custom, almost acrylic paints. But there's some top tips and really the stippling gives you a wonderful effect and of course these are really easy to mount up. So you can make lots of these at once. You could um, make great invitations and things with them or just great to have in your stash for a quick and simple card. Thanks so much for joining me today at Hedgehog Hollow. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Do give it a thumbs up if you've learned some new techniques today and we'd love to have a comment below of your favorite card I made, whether it's the silver or the gold. I'd love to know which one you prefer. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button or stamp it if you prefer, and I'll see you again very soon for some more inspiration. Happy stamping! Bye!